Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about the Garmin Connect app and specifically this video should be seen as your instruction, as your guide to the Garmin Connect app. We are going to be explaining what every screen is, what you can do on that screen, how to interpret the data. We'll be talking about the options, we'll be talking about the features. I'll be taking you through every click, button, toggle, everything that you see in the Garmin Connect app. We'll go through it in detail and you will know how to use the Garmin Connect app to its maximum capability. And trust me, the Garmin ecosystem is one of the best on the market. Once you get yourself a watch, a Garmin watch, and you connect it to the Garmin Connect app, it's basically a whole new world of fitness and an ecosystem of fitness, sports, and health that you have just joined. So I've got my Garmin Venue 2 with me, and this was the watch that I've got connected to the Garmin Connect app. So all the stats that are measured by the optical heart rate sensor on the back of it, as well as the SpO2 sensor, and basically all the other stats that we get from the accelerometer, the barometer on this thing, everything is recorded in the app. And once the watch and the app are synced, the data is transferred from here to the app. So, without further ado, let's get into the Garmin Connect app review. Let's do it. So once you open the app, this is the screen that you're met with, and it's called My Day, which if you think about it, does make sense. So this is all the stats that were recorded by your watch for that particular day. So let's say you've got your wearable in front of you. As you move through the screen up or down, you go in a circular motion, and you actually cover off things. Let me show you. So you'll be going through, one by one, things where you cover off your perspiration, your heart rate, your sleeping score, etc. So this is what you see in the My Day screen. You see basically all your core stats. So you've got things like your heart rate, and that will be your resting heart rate as well as the peak for the day. But you can click into there, you will actually see the full chart of your heart rate from midnight till whatever time you're looking at at that particular day. Now, the actual summary screen is just showing you the data, your heart rate data for the last four hours. The next screen is body battery. So, of course, these templates can be in slightly different order on your app because of the way you set it up. But you should have most of these screens available to you. So let's talk about the body battery. Let's say that mine is saying 25 out of 100. What does that mean? You can see the charge value and the drained value. Well, basically, your Garmin wearable looks at how well you've slept the previous night. And it gives you a charge, a body battery charge of source. How much did you actually charge up during the night? And then as you do your daily activities, it will look at your stress levels. It will look at your heart rate activity as well as your heart rate intensity to decide how much did you drain of the battery that you gained during your last night's sleep. And it will give you a good graphical interpretation of where the watch and Garmin Intelligence thinks you are in regards to your daily state. And this is usually a very good indicator because if you had a very short night's sleep or a bad night's sleep, this will usually show you that you didn't charge up that much. And if your day has been stressful and intense, well, it does leave you drained, really drained. And that will usually be shown on the app. Now let's go to the next template. Here you've got your stress. And this is also a great interpretation. So it shows you a pie chart of sorts, which shows how long you've been in a particular stress state. And these stress states, there's four of them. So your rest, your low, your medium, and your high. So you can see how long have you been in these particular states over a period of time during that day. Then of course you've got your steps icon. Very simple, it just tells you how many steps you've actually done in that day. Then you've got the calories in and out. This is actually quite an interesting screen because you will only get your calories shown if you have MyFitnessPal installed on your device. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you've got an iOS device or an Android device. 
basically install my fitness pal and it will take a look at how many calories you've got available for the day well that is if you are doing your calorie counts then there's a screen for your pulse ox so this is your pulse oxygen or spo2 aka blood oxygen saturation and as we know anything under 90 percent is considered well not very good at all and this should be checked out by the doctor now i'm getting a couple of readings here which could be signs of worry and we can see that my average scores are not that amazing we can see that the average for my sleeping is 90 percent while during my daily activities it's 91 percent so it's just above that mark where i should start getting worried and maybe get myself checked out by the doctor a respiration screen basically tells you how many breaths or breaths you take per minute both while at rest and while you're up and awake you can click on the button plus and that will give you the option to either add an activity your weight something that shows you basically your chart of how your weight is progressing during well while the time you're wearing the actual watch your hydration as well as your calories now with Garmin it's really good with calories because it shows you your passive as well as active calories so your passive calories are the ones that you burn just by being alive right that's how much your body burns calories on a daily basis even if you do nothing the active calories are those that you waste or spend while exercising and the more intense your exercises the more calories you burn then we've got a screen just under saying yesterday well self-explanatory so that's a summary of all the templates that we've seen and looked over just now but they have done sort of squeeze together so you can see a summary so you can see the exercise that you've done over the previous day you'll see a summary of your heart rate your body battery your stress levels uh, your steps floors covered your calories your sleep score pulse oxygen as well as respiration rate and then under that screen you will see your last seven days average overall so on my day so on your first or home screen it's basically all the stats that this watch has picked up and from today to yesterday to an average over the week so now let's move on to the second screen the second screen is challenges on the challenges screen you can create a challenge either with a connected friend or family member because in Garmin you can connect to other people that also have Garmin devices and here in the challenges you can create a step a swim challenge for example with your friend so I've got my friend in here Yuri and we can see that the last challenge we've actually done was a running challenge which finished in 2019 we also had a steps challenge as an example so you can set these up here now, if you don't have a friend that's connected to you via the Garmin app, that is fine because you can actually join challenges where you'll be signed up with people or groups of people that have similar steps to you. So let's say you do really well in one group over a week, you will be progressed to the next group, which does more steps. And so you go forth and forth and forth and you still feel that sense of community. So that's the challenges screen now when you do win a challenge or you participate you will get these badges which should really motivate you to step up your game and continue putting in the hard work now let's move on to the third screen and that is the calendar screen a very useful feature of the garmin connect app the calendar screen is actually very useful because it acts in two beautiful ways. The first way is, of course, it's a calendar. So you can swipe up and down to have a look at your months, the days. But the main function of the calendar app is to actually take you to any day from today to anywhere in the past where you've had the watch and you've synced it to the app. And you can see how were your stats for that particular day. So for example, let's pick up the 1st of January, 2022. Once you click into that day, you'll be able to see your heart rate on the chart. That's your default chart. But down the bottom, you've got heart rate, you've got body battery, stress, steps, sleep, and your sleep score. And every single one of these options is expandable for your analysis. So let's say we wanna go into stress for that day. And we can see that my overall score was 31. And you can see the chart down the bottom and it's clear as day 
that most of my day I had very low stress over five hours of low stress and that's easily explainable it's the first of January nobody's fussing everybody's chilling so this is what it's all about the news feed screen is all about well news so if you do have a friend connected with you on the Garmin Connect app you will see their results in here in the news feed so every time they perform an activity such as run cycle swim you will see how much they've worked out and you will see the details of that workout in this feed this is very useful for you to keep motivated as well as to motivate your friends into performing better improving or at least not missing a workout or exercise and of course it acts as a motivator for you as well to make sure you keep up with your friends the last screen available on the Garmin Connect app is your notifications. I've got none. I've got no new notifications here because here you would find notifications from your weekly challenges. You can find notifications on updates to Garmin app. You will see all sorts of notifications here. Let's take a look at the top row of the app. So we can see that on the right, we've got a plus sign. If you click that, this is the place where you can actually manage your permissions you click on manage permissions and you go to the settings of your phone and this is where you can either allow or deny access to say your location your notifications your calendar whatever it may be you're providing the permissions for the app to use now i really enjoy this feature because it gives you the option to either allow access to your calendar but deny access to your phone conversation to your call logs now I find that quite useful because it does give you that sense of privacy you're only allowing Garmin to see the information you allow it to it doesn't actually require access to everything that you have on your phone and that is great this is also the place where you actually select a device to connect and to sync with your Garmin connect app now if you click on the icon that has your photo there that's basically you're going to your profile page so this will show you details about yourself it will show you stats and most importantly or most conveniently it actually shows you one by one all the exercises that you've been doing in the past hopefully you did enjoy this video this deep dive and an instructional video about how to use the app if you did enjoy it please drop me a like and if you want to see more of the same please hit the red subscribe button below the video.